everyone, I hope you're all doing good. Today I'm doing a what I eat in a day, but not any old what I eat in a day because I'm doing this one in collaboration with Alexandra Andersson. She's a new friend of mine and a fellow vegan YouTuber who also lives here in Malmö and that's how we got to know each other. I reached out to her and we actually met once, which was really lovely and we decided that we were gonna make these videos together. So I've decided what Alexandra's gonna eat and she's decided what I'm gonna eat and I'm really excited to try her recipes and cook her food. I've never tried any of her recipes before but I've downloaded her app which is called 5 Sec Health where she shares all of her recipes and it looks really lovely and it's a great resource so I'll link that down below if you want to check it out. I'll also link her YouTube channel of course and her Instagram where she shares lots of helpful reels with recipes and tips and uh, of course I'll also share the video that she's making in collaboration with me where I decide what she's gonna eat so that after you watch this video you can go over there and watch her video but now let's see what Alexander has to say about what I'm gonna eat for breakfast good morning Malin and hi to all of you who are watching to Malin's channel I'm Alexandra I'm sure Malin have told you already so for breakfast I usually love having either a smoothie bowl or oatmeal today it's sunny so I would go for a smoothie bowl it is a green smoothie bowl which I love so I really hope you like it and yeah you can top it with nut butter as well you do as you like Okay, so we're gonna make a smoothie bowl. I don't usually do this, so it's gonna be really interesting to try this. And she said that it was sunny when she made her uh, videos for me, and today is definitely not sunny, but I'm sure I will enjoy this anyway. So let's make Alexandra's green smoothie bowl. Now I've tried Alexandra's breakfast, I've had a couple of bites and first of all I want to say that it was really easy to make, super quick and uh, it was fun to make something that I don't normally make and I'm definitely enjoying it. I like the combo of the granola with the smoothie and the kiwi and uh, it is a little greener tasting than the smoothies I normally make because I'm quite careful <laughs> putting too many green things in there because I know Rob doesn't like super green flavors and I think I've come accustomed to become accustomed to like sweeter smoothies but this is still really sweet but it has like um, a greener taste from the celery and uh, well I don't uh, think that's a bad thing at all all together I think it's super yummy and I'm glad Alexandra chose this breakfast for me I'm gonna finish it and enjoy it but before I do that I thought we could look at what she's chosen for lunch uh, for me to eat today so let's have a look so i am a pasta lover i hope you like pasta because you are gonna have pasta for lunch which is a creamy pesto pasta but with no nuts uh, it is actually with beans instead so it is very easy and very very yummy it's one of my favorite recipes ever so yeah i really hope you like it <laughs> 
So I guess we're having pesto pasta for lunch, but with no nuts. So that's going to be really interesting. And I love pesto. So I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, I will see you in the kitchen when I'm ready to make lunch. I finished my pasta lunch, see, all done. <laughs> and you really can't go wrong with fresh basil, can you? I really enjoyed the flavor. It was quite like a mild basil flavor, but it was really yummy. And it was really clever to use beans in the sort of pesto sauce because it adds a little bit of protein to the meal and it sort of bulks out the sauce, if you will. And yeah, it was yummy. I especially liked to like that we ate some cherry tomatoes with it, which sort of brightened it up a little bit. And I followed Alexandra's advice. She sent me a message saying that she usually eats it with some rocket. And that was really nice too. And now I've gone into some other dimension. I think I've fallen into a pasta coma. <laughs> I'm feeling quite tired. I actually felt quite tired when I woke up this morning. So I think I'm just, uh, yeah. It's a continuation of that. But now I can't decide whether I want to have a nap or go out for a walk. But it's Sunday, so I guess I could do whatever I want. And uh, whatever I do, I will see you in the kitchen when it's time for a snack. We've come back from a nice walk on the beach and I must say that walking on the beach is like my favorite place to walk in Malmö. I don't know, it's something about the fresh air and the sea is very calming and right now it's like proper spring feelings down there with all the birds uh, flying around and making a lot of sounds so there's plenty of nice things to look at but now I'm ready for a snack and I thought we just check what Alexandra has to say about our snack today. So when it comes to snacking, I usually have like a smoothie, but since you've already had it, I'm gonna give you a delicious toast. It is a mushroom bacon 
bacon toast and I really hope you're gonna enjoy it. It is actually one of my boyfriend's favorite snack recipes and it is, it is so yum. Okay, so we're gonna make some sort of toast with uh, mushrooms on it that uh, Alexandra is calling bacon, <laughs> like bacon. So I'm looking forward to that. I love mushrooms and so does Rob. So I think we just get right into making the snack. This toast seems right up my alley and I'm going to do a taste test right now, so let's see. <laughs> mm. Very good. And I have my mouth full of food. <laughs> So now that that's all swallowed, I would like to tell you that this is my favorite dish so far. It's a really good combo and that mushroom, bacon, bacon is really yummy. It's a little bit sweet, savory, mushroomy. Yeah, I love it. So I'm going to enjoy this while I sit here on my couch and I'm going to read my book. And a few of you asked me in my last What I Eat In A Day what I was reading for our book club that I'm doing with my mom and my sister. And we're reading this book in Swedish actually. It's called En Sax Hjärtat. It's a murder mystery. In English it's uh, A Pair of Scissors in the Heart. And I am almost finished. And this book was almost 500 pages. And I'm not... Uh, a uh, reader of very thick books and I know this is to many people not a very thick book but it is to me so I'm pretty proud of myself and uh, next up I get to choose the book and I've uh, chosen some books that Rob has recommended to me which is Ursula Le Guin's Earthsea Quartet so it's actually four uh, books shorter books that's in a I don't know what you call that, you know, there's a trilogy, then there are three, but what do you call it when it's four? Anyways, it's a, a, a quartet, okay, it's a quartet. And now, uh, before I read my book and eat my toast, I thought we could check what Alexandra has decided that we're going to make for dinner. And then, uh, yeah, let's just have a look. Usually I like finish my day off with either a curry or a warm Buddha bowl and I'm gonna give you a warm worm a warm Buddha bowl. This is a, a very easy recipe. You can swap out the veggies you roast. So if you don't have like Brussels sprouts, you can swap that out for something else like broccoli or anything really. So the veggies basically take care of themselves in heaven and then you make the dressing and the quinoa on the same time, which makes this dish very easy. Okay, so she's chosen another easy dish. I'm very grateful to Alexandra. All of these dishes have been really easy for us to make and very enjoyable too, of course. So we're gonna make a Buddha bowl and uh, when we're ready for that, I'll see you in the kitchen.
at my table for the last time today and this will be my last meal of the day. I haven't tried it in its entirety yet but I am sure I will like it. I like all of the components that are in there and uh, what I really like about having done this with Alexandra today is that she does things that I wouldn't necessarily think to do like making this uh, dressing with hummus and curry powder. Like I don't think I would have ever thought to combine them and I wasn't quite sure if I was going to like it but I have tried the sauce uh, I think three or four times because the first time I tried it, it was like hmm interesting and then I tried it again and I really really like it it's it reminds me of something but I just can't remember or like put my finger on what it is but it's really nice you guys should try it for sure and uh, yeah that concludes this video. I hope you've enjoyed this little collaboration that we've done. And don't forget to go to Alexandra's channel and check out the video where she eats what I've decided. And uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I will link that down below. And yeah, thank you all very much for watching. And thank you to Alexandra for uh, joining us today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.